No. And How do you know all women do not do that? Because I've been lurking. <laughs> You've been lurking in people's showers? Yeah. If you see this woman in your shower, call 911. <laughs> you see Fallon, radios Fallon in your shower, call 911. Yeah. Nice. The phone oh, someone's calling oh, no. right now. They've, they've seen Fallon. Guilty. <laughs> Roll the open. <laughs> Save your energy. We have an hour. I said if I was going to do TV, because I was never not going to be myself. Where are the people who are a little bit different? You're sitting next to one on the couch. So let's just say that. Be yourself, but not too much of yourself. Now, here's Jason. Thank you. There's Miss Fallon. Hey, everybody. Full house today. Full house on this rainy day. Welcome to the Jason Show audience. How you doing? You doing well? Doing good? You doing well? I am too. We have a good show, but let's start with this. A Delta flight, or I'm sorry, a flight delay for a reason you will not believe. This is true. Mosquitoes. Look at this video, everybody. This flight in Mexico was delayed for several hours because of a mosquito infestation. Yes, look at the flight attendant. Flight attendants, flight attendants tried getting rid of the bugs by spraying repellent after repellent after repellent. It did not work until they turned off the lights. Can you imagine what that cabin smelled like? Seriously, I was on a flight once, really quick story. Uh, I was on a flight to Las Vegas when the flight attendant came over the intercom and said, uh, tray, uh, tray tables, uh, seat backs in their upright position, and please do not change your baby's diapers on the tray tables. <laughs> and I thought, well, I haven't heard this on Delta before, and it wasn't on Delta. <laughs> and I turn around, audience, no joke, hand to Oprah, I turn around, and there is a naked baby on a tray table <laughs> being changed in row 15. I'm not kidding. Audience doesn't know what to make of that. They really don't. <laughs> Let's start the show. Roll it, Leo. Here we go, everybody. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh. No. Classic Madonna. Classic Madonna. What? Is, oh, that's right, the tour. That's right, little Madonna this morning. Audience filling in for Kendall. Give it up for Fallon, everybody. How you doing? Good. Happy Friday. That mosquito business is my absolute nightmare. There yes. couldn't be a worse scenario. I'd rather, I think I'd rather have snakes on the plane than mosquitoes, than mosquitoes. What, are you that you are mosquitoes attracted to you they live for me I am a like just big old chunky sugar cube for them <laughs> they like they are drawn to me yeah. and I don't get like little bites they like get huge and yeah. then I'm a child and I can't not Scratch. Scratch, yeah. Don't you think, we both grew up in Indiana, as you've heard us say, we're both Hoosiers. I think our mosquitoes, shockingly, in Indiana were worse. I agree, yeah. I, I, no, 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 they were, believe me. Yeah. You're, you're from southern Indiana, mm -hmm. I'm from northwest Indiana. Yeah. They had backpacks. Absolutely. I mean, they were, I mean, seriously. <laughs> they did. They had backpacks. <laughs> Fill it up. <laughs> did. <laughs> Take that canister out, add a new one, yeah. let's get some more blood. Mine yeah. had Schwinn bicycles. <laughs> I mean, they were just huge in Michigan <laughs> City. Huge. Yes. yes. Hey, I we want to make an announcement, you know, for our, th this is for our local viewers here in the Twin Cities in Wisconsin. Two weeks from today, um, we're going to do another special Halloween show from, and now this is for all of the other cities that are like, what? We have the Halloween capital of the world right here in Minnesota. Yeah, we do. It, yeah. The Halloween capital of the world, if you did not know it, is here in Minnesota in a town called Anoka, Minnesota. And we're going to be live, I referenced this yesterday, at my favorite chicken wing place on the planet. It's called Serum's Good Time Emporium. It is go we're going to be live live at 10 a.m. next, fr or two, two Fridays from now, um, at Serum's on October 27th. Now, here 
Here's the thing, because last year, People were lined up at like 5 a.m. People were yelling at photographer Eric because they couldn't get a seat. <laughs> oh, no. So I'm just going to tell you, please, from your old pal Jason, it is first come, first serve. Please don't throw chicken wings at Eric if you don't get in. I would just advise you to get there early because it was ins it was craziness last year. Oh my! And gosh. it was one of my the most fun shows we did last year. We're gonna do hot wing contests, and it, we have scary. It's gonna be great. I'm excited for this. Is it is it legal yet for the walking through the street with the drinking in Anoka? It is. Yes, oh, but it's it, gonna but, be extra but, wild. But, but certain, <laughs> but certain bars, uh, Serums is not one of them. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. yeah. But you can drink inside serums. Don't worry about that. Okay, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Let's, yeah. The audience is happy about that. Yeah. Again, that's live at 10 a.m. Central. Let's get started with today's show. Leo Rowland, it's time for the hot dish. Here we go, everybody. First up, uh, drama on the new episode of The Golden Bachelor last night. Shortly after scoring a one on one date and a rose from Bachelor. Gary. <laughs> Contestant Joan. Joan had to leave the show, girl. She's out. She told Gary she had to take care of her daughter who just had a, a, a C section. Well, listen, look at, uh, yeah, look, it's was sad. Take a listen. On tonight's show, they had a talent show where a fitness instructor named Leslie gave Gary a chance to sample her body of work. Leslie's a very talented dancer, but she got a little dirty there, a little sexy there at the end. Yeah, maybe it was a little much. Oh my God, somebody dial 911. <laughs> Two of the bachelorettes just had a stroke. Yeah, Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel having a little fun with the uh, Golden Bachelor. Well, Gary sat down with Jimmy for an interview, and Jimmy confronted him about his confusing name. Look. That your name is, is G-E-R-R-Y, which to me is Jerry, and I think to most decent people is Jerry. <laughs> but you go by Gar Gary or Gary? Is it Gary? Here, listen, just, be, just listen, just for a moment. Okay. Geary. Geary. It's Irish. Okay, but I wondered what America thought when they saw the spelling of your name, and here we went out in the street to find out. <laughs> a very simple question. Sure. How do you pronounce this name? Jerry. Jerry? Yeah. Not Gary. Jerry. Jerry? Jerry. Jerry? Jerry. Jerry? 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 Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. How do you pronounce this? Gary. This. Gary. This. Gary. This. Gary. This. Gary. This. Gary. This. Jerry. Perfect. So, I mean, it's... Yep. Yep. The results are in. Gary admitted to Jimmy that he's in love. <gasps> yeah, that he's in love following the show. So, he did find somebody. I always say it, and, and I know you laugh, and Jeff does too, when I say, Gary, because that is an homage, not an homage, but a tribute on uh, Howard Stern. Little, you know this, you're in the radio business. The little sound effects are called drops. Mm -hmm. And Howard has a drop of Richard Simmons uh, calling for Howard's producer, Gary Delabate, and Richard Simmons goes, Gary, <laughs> Gary, and Howard plays it all, and I, it's my favorite drop on Howard's show, but. A lot of the women sound like that, though, when they say his name on the show, so it works out perfectly. It is, it is such a hit for ABC. Yeah. This thing is a monster. I'm not kidding. We're going to hear about a Golden Bachelorette within weeks. Agreed, It's agreed. going to be, it's, you have to, you have to do a goal. Why not? There's, uh, yeah. You have, I would you, watch it. Uh, oh, I would watch, absolutely. I didn't watch any of the younger seasons, but I am into The Golden Bachelor. I think it's because he so, seems so genuine and like, yes. he's, you know he's not trying to be famous. No. You know what he's, I mean? He's so. not on there for Instagram followers. No, he's no. not, no. And can we not put women over 60 in little cowboy hats? Can we not do that? <laughs> Give them some dignity for heaven's sake, please. <laughs> 
Next up, you heard me talk about how much I'm loving Suits now that it's on Netflix. Uh, I know it's an old show. It's been number one uh, on streaming for months and months. Well, now the creator of the show is ready to, well, suit up again. So he announced that he's currently developing a new show set in the Suits universe. It's not being called a spinoff, just a new type of legal show with new characters in a new location. Uh, okay, yeah, so it's not really, anyway. No word yet on when the show's gonna premiere, but it will be part of the NBC Universal family, so it'll either be on Peacock or NBC, because Suits was part of that family. Okay, dude, what are you doing? I don't know. This is a, this is like a story, but it's not a story. Yeah. Because don't tell me you're gonna do, if I see the headline, a new Suits is coming, but it's really not a new suit. Yeah, it's just a legal show. Is it are one of is it the storyline of one of the characters advancing or like a story from before that show? Seems like it isn't. No, like the yeah. Good Wife. Yeah. Another great. That's what they did, but they did it right. Exactly. They spun off Diane into yeah. the Good Fight. Uh, if you're gonna do mm -hmm. a suit spinoff, do like Leisure Suit. You know what I mean? <laughs> and do like, you know what I mean? Do leisure yes. suit. Agreed. Yeah. And take yeah. one of the characters. <laughs> They're now broke and they have to oh, only wear leisure, leisure suits. suits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have to do only pro bono cases, you know? I'm into it. That's yeah. Fine. I, I'm t you can have that idea for free. Yeah. <laughs> what a gift. We're going to take a break. We'll be back after this. The Cooking Mom and More. Stay with us. Uh, welcome back. I so appreciate you being here. Cooking Mom and More coming up. Hey, really quick, I wanted to say thank you to all of you, and please don't stop. I mentioned yesterday, and I was telling the studio audience, I'm in the middle of doing a huge charity event right now for my radio station, My Talk 1071. I do a radio show as well, and we do a big charity event called Project Down and Dirty, where, like, one year we put on a musical in three days. One year we joined the military. This year we're doing a pickleball tournament. I'm learning to play pickleball in 72 hours. The tournament is tonight. We all raise uh, money for a different charity. My show's raising money for Big Brothers, Big Sisters. And I set a goal this morning by the time my show ended to reach a certain goal, and we did it. We have raised $30,000. Yeah. I know, I'm rapping, I'm rapping. I'm... Okay. I'm getting the hard rap. Let me move on. <laughs> Thank you. Saturday Night Live returns for its 49th season tomorrow night. The show dropped a new promo ahead of its premiere. Look at this. Oh, it's so good to be back. I know. Hey, how was your summer? It was great. Uh, I actually met my birth mom. Oh, congrats. How about you? Uh, I watched all of Suits. I don't know what it's about. Suits? Suits. Yo! Pete, what are you doing here? Oh, my apartment's under construction, so I'm just living here. Uh, only cast or hosts are allowed in the studio. Oh, okay. I'll do that. Do what? The host thing. I'll host. Mm -hmm. Pete, that's not how it works. You can't just say you're hosting. That was my Keenan face. Okay. <laughs> Ballot. I think he's funny. I know. You think I, you love him? I don't like it. Anyway, host <laughs> Pete Davidson is joined, as you saw, by uh, musical guest Ice Spice. More just for you now. On the same day our concert movie hits theaters, Taylor Swift is back in, in the stands to cheer on her rumored boyfriend, Travis Kelsey, joining us live from Hollywood from TMZ. Give it up for Jacob, everybody. Hey. Hi, buddy. Hey, Jason. So it looks like, you know, Taylor couldn't make her way to Minneapolis, but she sure made her way to Thursday Night Football, didn't she? <laughs> what is up with that? I know. Uh, I, was, I was surprised she didn't make her way to Minneapolis, but I have to say, I think she has superpowers because it seems like every time she goes to a Travis Kelsey game, the Chiefs end up winning. I, I wish Travis Kelsey was on my favorite team. I'm a Saints fan, but... Uh, uh, Taylor Swift was there last night sitting next to Donna Kelsey. You can see her right here. Uh, she clearly had a lot to say. They were whispering back and forth. And it, it just seemed like she knew that the cameras were going to be on her the whole time because every time Travis Kelsey caught the ball, the camera would pan to the to his suite and you'd see her stand up cheering. So maybe it's genuine, but maybe, you know, she's also trying to milk this relationship a little bit. That's at least how I see it. Uh, I have to say, though, Donna Kelsey was there with a ton of friendship bracelets. And if you're a Swifty, you know that is the symbol, or I guess the way that Swifties are uniting with 
one another is via friendship bracelets. So to see her in the suite with a whole list of friendship bracelets, I think it shows that she is supportive of this relationship. We give tracking ankle bracelets to our audience. <laughs> yeah. They all have them, Jacob. Well, speaking of Taylor uh, and her movie now in theaters, AMC is offering special edition concession swag. And we hear that already the movie, what, opened 13 hours ago? Fans are already going a little nutter butters over it. What, what, what's happening? It is outrageous. So, yes, as you mentioned, the Eras Tour movie is now in AMC theaters, but it came out for the first time on Wednesday night at, here at the Grove in Los Angeles, which is a huge shopping center, which they absolutely shut down for this premiere. And 2,200 lucky Taylor Swift fans were chosen to attend the premiere, and they all got these um, exclusive uh, buckets for popcorn and drinks. You can see them right here. You can actually get these at the AMC theaters today just for 20 bucks. However, Taylor Swift fans, I guess, are trying to capitalize on their opportunity to go see the movie first because the ones that were selected to go see it at the Grove are selling them on eBay for hundreds of dollars. So I don't know if someone's gonna bite and spend that much money just to get the popcorn bucket a little bit before everyone else, but who knows when it, when it comes to these Swifties. Oh, they will. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> I'll answer that for you. Jacob, have a good weekend. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, Jason. More of these stories at TMZ.com. Well, my friends in Orlando know this, and I know this just because I, you know, I'm at Mickey Mouse Land all the time. People, thank you, Disney lover, whoever clapped. But yeah, thank you, love you. Um, people wait in line, not for a ride. People wait in line for two, three, four hours when Walt Disney World releases a new popcorn bucket. I'm not joking. Really? Oh, they, they, when they release, so the, the Swifties, they're absolutely going to go to the theater to yeah, get these buckets. For sure. Yeah, I, I had friends go and they posted their pictures with their buckets already. That's why I was like, I mean, who would spend $100 on it? Just go to AMC. You, a lot of people go and just get popcorn anyway and yeah. they leave the theater. Well, why don't we, watch a movie. let's take the audience. Let's forget the rest of the show. We'll go to the AMC across the street. <laughs> well, no, hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I'll tell you what, Fallon and I will buy about $200 worth of popcorn buckets, mm -hmm. we'll sell them out of our trunk, <laughs> and we'll split the proceeds with all of you. Yeah. There we go, yeah. yeah. Do that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of movies, up next, a new look at Wonka. The second trailer for the upcoming origin story of Willy Wonka just dropped, and it's revealing more about the backstory of everybody's phrase, uh, crazy cho favorite ch crazy chocolatier. Look. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings to you all. My name is Willy Wonka. You see, I'm something of a magician. Prepare to be amazed. Tape up. <laughs> Inventor. May I present Willy Wonka's wild and wonderful wishy-washy Wonka Walker. Please don't make me say that again. And chocolate maker. The best chocolate in the world. Ooh. He's good. Too good. And anyone can afford them. Even the... The poor? He doesn't like it when people say poor. Send Wonka a message. Do not sell chocolate in this town! You're gonna get more than a bonk on the head. I know the bonk on the head. What is with me today? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have thoughts. So as you can see, Timothy Chalamet uh, picks up on the classic character. He plays Wonka just as he's starting his candy empire. The trailer also revealed more, as you saw just a little bit there, of Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant is the Oompa Loompa. Look. Oompa Loompa, Oompa Diddy. I'm not in premium economy. Good night, sir. I am going flat. Huh. What is it? Nothing. Well, it's obviously something because you said, huh. Forget it. Very well. Huh. Oh, you did it again. Tell me what it is or I shall poke you quite viciously with a cocktail stick. I... I wasn't sure about this because I don't always love prequels. Yeah. Because, you know, again, you know, ultimately, 
you know how the story ends. You know how, it, because it's a prequel. And I also wasn't sure because we barely, we didn't even need the Johnny Depp, mm, Willy yeah. Wonka, Gene Wilder's quite enough. I got to say, I have to say, this looks real good. It does look this good. This changed my mind. The trailer changed my mind. I like Timothy Chalamet. I think the Hugh Grant is so weird. He has no sense of humor. And I feel like promoting the movie, the interviews are going to be so uncomfortable with him. He's oh, like the worst it's horrible. interviews. He's the worst. Have you ever interviewed him? No. It's horrible. He it would is. never want me. I'm filth. I'm the... Poor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't want me. <laughs> it's not fun. No. It's not fun. Yeah. Wonka, by the way, hits theaters in mid December. Next in the dish, the return of a 90s classic. One of my favorite sitcoms from the decade could be making a comeback. Which one? This one. Let's just have a little bit of the Botox. No, it's not Botox, it's Parallax. <laughs> you look like a zombie. She still has emotions, you know. She just doesn't have to pay for them in wrinkles, that's all. I'm happy about that. Can you tell? No. Money well spent. Money well spent. Okay. This, this show, especially to my youngins out there, if you're clueless about Absolutely Fabulous, you need to get on the bandwagon. This show is a cult classic about two best friends who love nothing more than drinking, smoking, <laughs> poking fun at everybody, and making her, uh, making that woman right there, Safi, Eddie's daughter, miserable. Uh, creator and star, oh, look at Eddie, Jennifer Saunders. <laughs> Jennifer Saunders revealed she's writing a new project. It's either gonna be an AbFab movie or an app. Oh God, can I just watch this for a second? Or an AbFab TV series? Oh, Patsy. That will contain elements from the show. AbFab ran for five seasons, and then there was a movie in 2016 it is, if I have to make a list of all-time favorite shows, not just British shows, mm -hmm. this is, AbFab is I laugh until I cry. Okay, I'll watch it. You, oh, yeah. Fallon, you would love it. I would. Patsy, Patsy Stone, um, there's a great sequence where Patsy, um, she tries to quit smoking cigarettes. Yeah. And she comes down and she gives up mm -hmm. and she comes down running and she has like eight cigarettes in her mouth <laughs> and, and, and she lights all of them in her mouth yeah okay. and then she has nicotine patches oh god and then she pulls off and she was they're leaking they're they're putting liquid into her body and it's coming <laughs> it's just it's so good it's so good uh next it's time to meet our latest jvip today it's deanna herman from rosemont she says she loves seeing people like uh, me do what they love and she can tell that we all here on the show love what we do well deanna gets a jason show mug also entered to win the monthly grand prize that includes being a vip guest in our audience a 150 dollars gift card to becker furniture and a 250 dollars gift gift certificate to our latest sponsor, Renew Med Spa. Still to come today, dig out your slow cooker. The cooking mom is back in the studio and she's sharing her recipe for an easy and delicious fall soup that you can make in your crock pot. And don't forget to get tickets to our show. Go to eventbrite.com, click on the Jason Show and pick a day. We'll be right back, back in a moment, everybody. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Well, yesterday on the show, Stephanie Hansen helped launch uh, Crocktober, celebrating simple and delicious recipes to make in the crock pot. Someone else who loves the crock pot is the cooking mom. It's been a while since she's been back in our studio, but she's here now with one of her most popular recipes. Give it up for Amy Hatton, the cooking mom, everybody. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, it's, it's so good to be back, let me tell you. Absolutely. Eric, can you move that light down? You're blocking Amy's light. We gotta make her look beautiful. There we go. Uh, how are you doing? I am doing so good. Oh, good. No, you just, you just got back, because I'm looking here. You just got married. I did. You just I got did. married. Look at this. He's uh, pretty great. Uh, and that setting looks familiar. Yes. Where did you get married? Uh, Kauai, Hawaii. But we, oh. we honeymooned at your favorite place, the Royal Hawaiian. Yes. Uh, and now, had the Mai Tais, too. Uh, so. 
on Oahu, you, as you get to know our show and get to know me, you know, it's one of my favorite places on earth. And uh, so was it just everything you wanted it to be? It was dreamy. Yeah. Yeah. Dreamy. And how was that Mai Tai bar? Uh, so good. <laughs> I, I might have had a, a two or three of them. Two or three. It was a honeymoon, you know? There, there is a bar, everybody. I, I should name it a uh, best thing ever. It's called the Mai Tai bar in, in uh, Honolulu at the Royal Hawaiian. I've mentioned the best bartender, Susan. and Mama Susan. Mama Susan, who's <laughs> been there since 19. 80. She was the first bartender, the first woman bartender allowed to work there. That was I didn't back. Know in, that. Oh yeah, she She's was the great. first woman. Yeah, amazing. So I'm so glad that oh, you had a good time there. It was there. wonderful. It's wonderful to be back uh, cooking and wedding over. Like it can be stressful. Even oh. though it was a small wedding. It's oh, like, it's Phew. stressful no matter if you're the whoever you are in the party. I have one to go to tonight. <laughs> um, so what are we making today? So we are making one of my all-time. Uh, most popular recipes featured in the New York Times. Oh, I know. Look uh, at you. I know. It's pretty. I, I know. know. So, the reason why is they were looking for the ultimate football food for game day parties or tailgating. And so I submitted this recipe, and they're like, yeah, that's it. And it, it's. Is that how that works? Like, did you just see that? I didn't bribe anybody. I can tell no, you. No, 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 no. I just mean, how did you know that yeah. you just saw it and you were like, oh, I'm going to yeah. submit mine? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got an email, because I'm Lord knows we'll never have that happen to us. Did you Stop just it. get an email from them like, hey, we picked you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, exactly. I love that. I mean, this, I love that. this was years ago, yeah. and I'm telling you, it is it's to die for. It's super easy, um, whether you make it for the game or you just make it for your family. Uh, and it's just a dump and go kind of recipe. Because you know me, yeah. I'm not a fancy chef. No. Uh, my recipes are easy, breezy, anybody can do it. So. Yeah, for our new friends, Orlando, Iowa, Madison, uh, Chicago, this is what you'll love about her. You can find everything, not at a fancy grocery store. Mm -hmm. You can find them there at Jewel Osco in Chicago. Mm -hmm. You can find them at Publix in Florida. Mm -hmm. You can find it everywhere. The Piggly so. Wiggly. The Piggly Wiggly. Yes, yeah. You got it. Okay, yeah. so uh, I do love the slow cooker liners or spray your, your slow cooker really good with my good friend Pam over there. She's yeah, my best I friend. I love Pam. Okay, so yeah. then we're going to do, I can't stand peeling and dicing potatoes, one of my worst. Uh, yeah. Like, that's no fun. These are just cubed country style hash browns. Um, if you like onion and pepper, get the O'Brien. We're going to dump them in here. I always keep these in my freezer for soups and stews and, and this recipe, I also do a loaded potato soup recipe. Just makes life easy. So yes. dump them in there. You don't need to cook them. Just dump them in there partially frozen. I need to put you to work. Okay, sure. Okay, so there was a knife around here. There's a knife. I saw they try to knife. keep me away from the knives, okay. but I, uh, yeah, right. I, there was uh, one around here. So, oh, here it is. Okay, okay. Knife. So I need you to cut up a boatload of Velveeta. Okay, do you want cubes? It doesn't matter. Just dice it up. Just dice yes, it up. Yes, ma'am. So this recipe is not my healthiest. Um, it's all in moderation. And yeah. it's, it's fall. It's like comfort food. So now we're going to do two cans of cream of celery soup. And you're going, what the heck? You don't want to eat this on its own. I don't think that would be very good, but it really works great in this recipe because unlike cream of mushroom, you might taste the cream of mushroom. This just gives the soup some great flavor, and you're going to taste all the other ingredients in here. So it just works. It makes it creamy, but you're not going to taste like I've never had cream of celery soup straight up and I don't think it'd be very I, good. But yeah, it I works can't, in this recipe. I'm not a cream soup kind of guy. A, I don't, you know what I mean? You know I don't. What? In a Minnesota hot dish, my friend. Oh, no, that, that no, 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 no. I'm talking like to eat on my about. own. Yeah, you know what either. I mean? I me can't. Either, yeah. Either. Okay, so now we've got some milk. Now here, bear with me on this recipe because it's a little bit weird. So besides the cream of uh, celery soup, which is weird, um, it all works. Uh, it's one can of French style green beans that I've drained. Uh, it, it, trust me, just trust me on this. Go with me. Then we've got one pound of a smoked sausage, like a kielbasa, that I've uh, chunked up, diced up, a little bit of uh, minced onion, the dried, or you can mince it yourself, a couple dashes of a hot sauce, just to give it flavor. This is not a spicy soup. My boatload of Velveeta. I cut it Boat, up for you. You did perfect. Okay. Thank you. Lid goes on, give it a stir, a couple hours later, three to four hours later, we're almost done. Okay. Um, so here we are. We're about ready. We're getting hungry. Um, um, yeah. You know, um, yeah. We're getting hungry. I didn't put all I've the sausage I've been playing pickleball in. all week. I'm very... Good I, uh, you. Good yeah. Uh, Amy, I don't know. I'm doing it for charity, and uh, I was telling the student, I'm sore in places I didn't know I should be sore. You know, I, it, I really am. I, I, I'm the four. Everybody's into pickleball, you the, know. Everybody. I'm 49. My coach is 19 years old, and I, I I'm not joking. I, it makes me feel so old and decrepit. I don't oh, know. Stop it. I'm anyway, proud of you. I'm yeah. proud. You, you, if you don't move it, you lose it. So I you got to do something. My point is, I need this soup. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is rib stick and comfort soup. So here's our soup. It's the cheese is all melty. The sausage flavor gets in there, but we're not done yet. I know how much you love a good beer. I do. Okay. So wait, I don't think that's a screw off. 
It might be. You might be here. No. Nope. Okay. No, gotta, that's gotta, not. Yeah. So the last thing you want to do is just put a splash or two of beer in here. And if you like a good beer cheese soup, this is where it's at. <laughs> you how to drink beer. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I need you to take me to the vet and have me put down. <laughs> I, I do. I do. I just think this is not my day. It's just not. I, this, and for the new people that just started watching us, this is the second time I have done that in the nine years of our show and uh, not on purpose. I think you've done it more than that. We're going to teach you to drink beer the right way. <laughs> I, may have, I may have shaken it up a little bit. This no, will I be didn't. the Cooking Moms final segment on <laughs> our show. So we put a little beer in there. You don't have to, but it's super, super good. And then... Um, I'm serious. I know it was. It's been about the third time. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, so then we like serve it. Um, I love soup buffets are really fun. You can put out uh, some fixins for yes. this. I love shredded cheddar cheese, green onion croutons are great. But this is like I said. Um, everybody loves this. And then what do you want on yours? A little cheese. Um, a little green. We'll onions, take everything. Green yeah. Onions. I gotta get that beer taste out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. I don't even like beer. It's so good. Can you bring in a recipe that takes vodka? Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it. Those. No if you problem. ever want to come back, you better get a. <laughs> I'm on it. I'm on it. Ooh. Yeah. Now I know why the New York Times. This is really. This is football soup. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, that was funny. Amy's not done with her crock pot yet. After the break, now a dessert that you can make in the crock pot for Crocktober when we return. Back after this. This is really good, and oh my god, I can't believe, oh my god, no, there's a sh Welcome back. More with my buddy, the cooking mom, Amy Hatton. My mom just texted, you know, she texted throughout the her. show. A review. I love the Dar. She loves you, and the Dar said congratulations on your wedding. Thank um, you. Okay, so we made soup. We made soup, and now we're going to do a dessert in the crock. Yeah, so I think people think, you know, they do a roast. Maybe they do chili in the in the crock pot. Have you ever thought about doing dessert in the crock pot? And I honestly haven't. You know I, what? Yeah. Most people don't. This is a dessert that my kids used to beg for, and the best part was I'd make it when they had friends over or a sleepover, and then the kids that that came over would go home, and I'd legit every time get a call from their parents, what, what did you make? My kids can't stop raving about it. Um, oh, and nice. I was like, that's totally a nice like a rock star. I know, I love oh, that. Yeah. There's nothing better. So make this for movie night. Makes your house smell like a, if you like chocolate, makes your House smell like a chocolate store. It's an ooey, gooey comfort dessert. I call it my triple chocolate mess. Perfect. Triple yes. chocolate yes. mess. And I gotta do a shout out. There's a bunch of people in the audience today uh, that came to see me, and I love you and you. They no, they came, came for you. Me. They came for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In our studio audience. They're so Hi, great. They, they, uh, I just, I host these great culinary trips, and they, we just got back from Italy, and so they live in the Twin Cities, and it was oh, the best nice. time ever, and I'm so glad I'm gonna Hi, see you Hi, Italy guys trip later. people. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Okay. You got to watch me spit beer. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> get out of the way you. for okay. you. We'll do that. So this is another one of those dump and goes. But I'm going to first start it in a mixer. It starts with a box of your favorite, uh, whatever's on sale, cake mix. Okay. okay. This is not. Doesn't matter what no, kind. Just, but matter. chocolate, um, obviously. Chocolate instant pudding uh, mix. Okay. Some sour cream. Eggs. The full recipe, again, you can get on my website. You don't need to write it down right now. Yeah, I have so right many through, yeah. fun recipes for the slow cooker on my website, and I've got a newsletter. It's free. I send you out new recipes all the time. How's it going over there? It's good, mate. Okay. Dump this in. Dump, dump, dump. Dump, dump, dump. Dump. Okay. So then, um, oil. So don't follow the recipe on the back of the cake box. You want to follow my recipe. Yeah, don't okay? Did you hear that? Do not follow the box recipe. Yes. Okay. Okay. Because this is, this is not a cake we're making here. Use a mixer. Get it all blended. And then once again, spray your slow cooker with the good friend Pam. Yeah. Because this is going to be sticky. Or line it with one of these slow cooker liners. I get a lot of questions about these liners. You just find them in the same aisle as the foil and the saran wrap and the and the Ziploc bags, and they're great. They just save on cleanup. There's no mess. Afterwards. There's no yeah, zero yeah, mess. You just okay. Them. Okay. So here it is. Oh my goodness. And so the key to this is, you want it soupy. 
it's more of a spoon cake. So the minute you, oh. you see the edges kind of getting cakey, turn it off and get the lid off. Everybody's slow cooker is different. Yeah. So don't leave this all day. This takes like maybe an hour, an hour and a half, depending on your slow cooker. Oh, that's good to yeah. know because yep. I'm sure people would be like, oh, I'll just go yeah. run yeah. my errands. This is one of those you can't. So this is what you're, this is what we're talking about. See this? Oh my see God. See this? Like, I mean, my son, who's now 30 and lives in Japan, um, uh, is a chocoholic. And, like, he, every birthday, forget the birthday cake. This is what he this wanted. This is what he wants? This is what, yeah. Because <laughs> i got to tell you, I'm glad that you said that to people because I think people would look at that and go, it's not done. Oh, it's done. But Where it's done. Where did my vanilla ice cream go? Where's the vanilla ice cream? We did open there it for it is, you. There it is, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's hiding down here. It's all right. And, and you know what? Because I was going to say, this would be really good with ice cream. Oh, ice cream. Yeah. Um, and yeah. actually, one of my Italy, I forgot the ice cream this morning at the grocery store. So, uh, one of my... It, uh, Italy people, Lee ran to the cub and got me the ice cream. Oh, today. nice! That's good because half of our staff is gone today, so that's, we wouldn't have had anybody to. <laughs> and then maybe all, a, a three quarters of them are gone. Yeah. Cherry on top. You could do nuts if you want, but I'm telling you, like your slow cooker can be a lifesaver. I mean, for me. May I? Yeah. Okay. I, want yeah, you I just to. want yeah. You just gotta dig in. Because um, I'm gonna eat this really quick and tell Fallon it's awful, so she won't have any more. <laughs> yeah. I'm dying to see what you think. Yeah. <laughs> Better than the beer. <laughs> I have a, a Fine, oh, give her some too. Okay, okay. Fine, give yeah. Fallon some too. This is, there's nothing not to Fallon. like about this. Um, but if you can just kind of get. Amy. You love? This. You love? Now I know why those teen, the, why the kids freak out over this. Yes, yes. This is one of your. I, I, you've been on the show for what? Probably as long oh as my, we've been on. Yeah. This is one of my favorites from you. Oh, I'm so this glad. is. This is real good. I love to wow ya. Oh. You know, that's what I'm all about. And like I said, if you can just get <gasps> dinner in the slow cooker, and then like all day long, I've got a smile on my face because I know when I walk in from a long day, it's like dinner's done. Uh, and and oh. you, you know the house smells amazing. So Amy. Yeah. <laughs> if you weren't already married, and I was, I'd marry over this. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Right. Fallon? Oh my God! Real, right? Yeah, your daughter would love this. Yeah, yeah. Phil, right? Fill up a bathtub. I'm gonna get. <laughs> I literally, I can bathe in it. Amy, yeah. work on that for the next segment. Yeah. A bathtub yeah. full of this. <laughs> Give it up Thank for Amy, guys. everybody. Head to thecookingmom.com for all the recipes. Sign up for her newsletter, like she said. And both of Amy's cookbooks are available right now on Amazon. We'll be posting both of these segments on our Jason Show YouTube and Facebook pages. We'll be right back. Back in a moment. No joke. I love my people. It is Friday, and despite the rainy weather here in the Twin Cities, we want to end the week on a high note. Now, we usually do something called what's driving me crazy, but we wanted to stay positive today, so we're going to find out what's making you happy today. That's right. Now, I'm going to chat with the audience. Uh, I'm going to kick things off. I said a version of this, a little bit of this at the top of the show. Thanks to all of you that donated to the charity that I'm working for uh, in my big charity event at the radio station, Big Brothers and Big Sisters of the Twin Cities. That is a transformative organization. I mentioned it yesterday. I was a big in the year 2000 with a seven-year-old little boy named Brendan, uh, who is now a 31-year-old pharmacist um, that I'm extremely proud of. When I... Uh, when I uh, get ready to call it quits in life, uh, he will be one of my greatest accomplishments, uh, having something to do with him. So yeah, not accomplishments, but one of the great joys of my life. Uh, okay, let's see what is making Alyssa happy. Give it up for Alyssa, everybody. Come over here. Come here, my love. Come right down here with me. Boom. I know. It's like we're getting married. Okay, let's be positive. What's making you happy, my friend? Happy to be here and happy to be celebrating my mom's birthday with some of my family. Where's mom? Is mom here? Mom's here. Mom! <laughs> Hey, Amy, can we order one of those bathtub full of chocolates for mom? Yes, please. For mom and Fallon? That's good. Thank you, sweetie. Thank, Thank you. you. Where's Carla? Hi, Carla. Get up for Carla. Come on down here, Carla. What's, hi, sweetie. Hey. I love your hair. Oh, thanks so You're much. You're beautiful. Okay, Aww, what's making you happy? You know, in addition to being Crocktober, yeah. it's Crocktober. <laughs> Look at you! It is. Okay. It is. Look, they got a special cowboy boot croc that's okay. coming out. We showed that. Now, you got a, not that you work for the croc people. I should. But can I tell you? Yeah. I've never worn one. 
I don't own any. What? I've never, I know, I, row one, I know. Pearl's clutched. I know. Fainting pouch. What I mean, is I know. happening right now? I know. Should I? Yeah. I mean, really? not right yours right now, but I mean. I mean, these are too little for you, maybe. I know, I'm a size 13. Oh, they make them, though. Yeah, they you do? You get some, yeah. But what do you love about them? Well, they're super lightweight. Okay. So they don't drag you down if you're tired in the morning. They're comfy. Okay. You can customize them with all these little things. So you can have, you know, your personality on a different day. But they are comfortable? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. The whole audience. Okay. <laughs> Jason, they're okay. waterproof. I wore them to the studio today when it was pouring down rain. But they're, okay. they, they're not Okay, ready. you convinced me. I'm going to get some, Carla. Thank you, love. Where? Where's Allison? Hi, Allison. You can stay right there. I'll come to you. Allison, what's making you happy? You. Oh. I <laughs> Thank you. I, I have dreamed of this day to come here, honestly. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I can't believe it. And, and I'm with the, um, the group that went with the cooking. Oh, they Mom traveled with Amy. To Italy. And we just got back about a month ago or so, and we just had a blast. Oh, I bet she you did. really fun. And you look really nice. Thank you for a look at you with the stylish <laughs> denim. I love that. Thank you, sweetheart. Everybody's so nice. Where is Cassidy? Cassidy. Hi, Cassidy. Oh, nice shirt. This is my radio show shirt. Hey, girl, hey. What's making you happy? Well, I've been listening to you ever since I can remember. I'm from Anoka. Oh, my, my town. All of us are from Anoka. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so, and I'm just so really happy to be here. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you. Did, so you've been... You've been hearing about pickleball and how, have, yeah. how awful it is. I mean, I yeah. like it. I'm just very old and very sore. Yeah, so. I've never played it. Um, but. You know what? Pickleball is actually making me happy, too. It's That's fun. Good. It's good exercise. Yeah. Our team's going to lose, but still, it's good. He yeah, tried. It doesn't he matter. Tried. Thank you. Thank you very much. Give it up to the audience, everybody. Can you do one more? Let's do one more. Uh, Keely? Where's Keely? Hi, Keely. Stand on. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? God, our audience is like really good looking. Everybody's so pretty. What's making you happy? Um, what's making me happy? Uh, same thing. Coming to see you. This is my best friend of 25 plus years, and Love we that. drove from Duluth oh. to see you. And our my son started watching your show when at her daycare, and he's seven, and she he started when he was born. So Whoa. we've been Jeff. We've locked up the seven uh, seven uh, year old demo. We'll take any rate. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Well, thank you for thank being you. here. Thank you. Everybody's so nice. Thank you. I was telling the audience, the pickleball thing, I'm exhausted. And I needed like four layers of makeup today. So thanks for making me happy. We're going to take a break. We'll be back. We'll see if Fallon's done with the cake when we return. Back in a moment. No, see, we missed another close-up. Do, do it one more time. Okay. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We got it in the week. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I just want to say, again, what's making uh, you happy, what's filling me with gratitude. I say this a lot. I'm going to say it again because this is one of those times. Uh, forget Fallon. Forget Kendall. Forget me, the crew. What really makes our show uh, most days is our studio audience, and today's one of the best. Yeah. I just really appreciate them today. Yeah. Okay. It gives us energy, gives the show energy. Don't forget, if you want to be in our audience, go to eventbrite.com, search The Jason Show, pick a day where you can show up, and uh, we do groups, we do birthday parties, we have strippers sometimes, it's great, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, I haven't been here for one of those. Just wait. Okay. We'll be right back, back in a moment, everybody. <laughs> what day is that? Uh, third Friday. Uh, third Friday. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> well, it is time for the surprise goodbye. You know how this works. We don't know what's in this segment until I read the teleprompter right now. Today, something unexpected at an animal park in Texas. One giraffe got a little too friendly with a woman and her family while they were driving through the wildlife center south of Dallas yesterday. The giraffe popped its head inside the sunroof, <laughs> but then lost its footing and fell in on the windshield. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. 
The scared giraffe ran away while glass fell on the family. But here's the good news. That's why ever don't worry, everyone. Neither the people in the car or the giraffe were seriously hurt. The giraffe oh. is just fine. So I. I, giraffes are sweet, but I would die. I would just, you know. I was more concerned for the giraffe's safety than I the family. I was too. I was like, who cares about them? Yeah. Not the giraffe. I, I was worried yeah. about more the giraffe than yeah. the humans. Yeah. Monday on the show, easy Halloween treats that you can make with the whole family. Plus, we're opening up the Jason Show mailbag. So get those delightful emails in this weekend. That's going to do it for us. If you're watching and you're a kid that's being bullied, you go out there and you be yourself because nobody can tell you you're doing it wrong. Thanks for watching this weekend everybody. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. You may now descend. <laughs>